Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CB Minutes video series on Linglish interview question and this is one of the famous interview question which is finding the middle of a Linglish meaning if this is the Linglish middle node is this one so they will tell you there is a Linglish you don't know what is the length so this length is like 5 but they will tell okay you don't know the length and then you have to tell or you have to write a function which will return you the middle node of that Linglish and they won't tell you the number I mean the length so how many ways are there? So there are actually three ways, one, two, and three. We'll actually see one by one. So the first one is very simple. I mean, it it is like you might have already guessed it. In one loop, you iterate over till you reach end. And once you reach end, you already know that how many nodes are there. And then you just divide by two. And you know that what is that number? Because divided by two meaning you will reach half, okay? Yeah. That is very simple. Second one is you have two pointer P1 and P2 and this is going to be the fast pointer and this is slow pointer. So if this is fast in, in one iteration this guy would jump meaning it will skip one. So let's suppose if this is one iteration P1 will reach here but P2 will go here. So it's like direct jump and this will be like one by one. Now P2 is here, P1 is here. P2 will go from here to here. P2, P1 will go from here to here. Now you see, P2 have reached the end and obviously the logic would be you will keep jumping and you will see that if you reach till the end, then you will stop. So this P2 have already reached the end. Then wherever this P1 would be, that is going to be the center. So we can see that this is the center and P2 is in the end. Correct? So P1 will show the center and we can just return this P1 from that function. So this is very cool i mean so many people would have guessed this also but now this third one is cool very few people will actually get this so i have already done this while loop for you so we will use two pointers one is p and head so head is this one i will initialize this head to this p and the idea is we will have this count initially this count is zero now the idea is i will move this head one by one till i reach the end so this is what this head is Okay, but I will only increment and sorry and I will increment the count also the moment I am incrementing the head if head is going from here to here this count will also increase. So if it is like here 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 if head is here then at that time count is 3 because it starts from 0 okay. So 0 1 2 3 but P will move conditionally meaning if count is odd number meaning if h is at this location then only we will move p so when this head would reach in the end that time p would reach here with the help of this count this is not so great solution but this is also one of the solution so p will only increment when count is odd number so this is where you will compare that it is odd or not so this count is odd then only you will increment the p otherwise you will always increment head and you will always count. Maybe this is not covering the corner cases and all, but you got the idea, right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye. Take care.